This is problem 2.49 of our textbook Mechanical Derivation from Rao 6th edition. We'd like to determine the natural frequency of the system shown where we have three springs and a beam. As you see, spring 1 and 2 share the same force. They do not have a mass between them, so they are in series. On the other hand, these two springs and the beam and the spring K3 share the same displacement. The mass is between them, therefore they are in parallel. We can then model our system as an equivalent constant of a spring for K1 and K2, and then in parallel with the constant for the beam, which is an equivalent constant of a spring also for the beam, and K3. Then these three springs can further be reduced to a single spring, and that's the equivalent constant of the spring that we would like to find. So we said that K1 and K2 are in series, therefore we can add the inverse of those springs, therefore we can get that the equivalent constant for K1 and K2 will be K1 times K2 divided by K1 plus K2. The equivalent constant for a cantilever beam will be 3 times E times I, E being the young models, I being the area moment of inertia of the transversal area divided by the length of the beam cube. Now, if we add those three constants together, because as we say, they share the same displacements and therefore they are in parallel, we can write that the equivalent constant of the spring of the total system will be equals to the constant of the beam plus K3 and then will be times K1 plus K2 plus K1 times K2, all that divided by K1 plus K2. And this is the equivalent constant of the spring for the whole system. The natural frequency is defined as the square root of the constant of the spring or equivalent constant of the spring divided by the mass. If we substitute what we obtained for the equivalent constant of the spring, we will have the following expression. And this is how we found the natural frequency of this system.